to Meet and Match Digital Show of Linear Palette Fair. Hello, Jen Kim, and nice to have you here again with us. Hi, Arietta, good to see you again. I'm glad to know more about your journey. Mm -hmm. uh, my name is Jean Kim, and I'm currently working as an innovation cons consultant in Korea. And my work involves an intersection of strategic advisory and innovation, helping Korean clients to source new innovative materials or insights for their future concepts by conducting creative collaboration projects between Korea and Italy. Great. This means that materials are one of the fundamental elements of your job. Yes, uh, actually the material is a very vital, important uh, aspect of our work. And many designers today are looking for new sort of uh, materials and concepts. And I'm currently working in the automotive sector and they, the future of mobility at the moment is shifting towards a new mobile lifestyle space, becoming an extended living space. This means that Korean designers are trying to rethink about the experience inside the lifestyle space and how to make this journey comfortable and engaging for travelers. And they are searching for sort of new vision textiles, which means materials that are inspired by domestic sort of aesthetic styles from natural to also very textural like the richness uh, with the creative finishing to a high-end decorative uh, details that can be applied inside the cars or, or can be also developed for small objects or accessories and they're also very um, interested in looking for new materials that are highly advanced which means materials with very high performance uh, very focused either on hygiene and protection due to this pandemic um, situation or materials that are very smart, which means like having uh, micro switches invisibly embedded inside the material and with a specific gesture or touch, this can be also integrated together in the car technology system. Interesting to know that Korean designers are exploring to new technology and to new application from Italian uh, supplier. But what do you think they are missing right now? What they're missing? Um, what they're missing at the moment is this kind of, I think, a physical sort of a touch point between the designers and manufacturers because it's very important for designers to physically really uh, touch and feel and also sort of engage with the manufacturers to understand not only about the, the be aesthetic beauty of the material but also about the process behind it. So this is something that we are missing and I think that um, we have a lot of expectation from the Italian uh, manufacturing uh, industry because Italy I think has a very well established infrastructure for R&D, innovation and design and I think that um, they are able to provide, uh, you know, season by season, like new sort of creative um, materials finishing. And this is something that we value very highly and the designers really need for inspiration and for product development. Jean, I understand that Korean designers need to touch and feel because this is something that it's important to design the products. Yes, I think the physical um, touch point experience is very important because um, the feeling they have by seeing the material, the touch, by looking at all the details cannot be replaced by online. This is something that has to be physically done. And we really hope that we can have the second edition of the sharing innovation which was very, very highly appreciated by many designers because they were able to see so many um, creative materials really touch and feel the innovation behind it also. So I think that if there is an opportunity next time, it will, it will be very um, appreciated to have a few of some innovative collections here in Seoul. 
Thank you, Jean. I'm sure that we will repeat it because we are in 2021. It's a new year, it's a new, fresh time to settle a new world. Thank you very much. Thank you.